Developing news right now that we're following in West Hartford. It's where a fiery crash shut down a portion of New Park Avenue right by Flatbush Avenue. That busy area is right near the Hartford City line. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galal, Aya Galal excuse me, breaks down what we know so far. We're told the car was traveling northbound here on New Park Avenue. It then slammed into a parked car that was on Darcy Street. That vehicle went into the home. You can see the extensive damage that was left behind. It took down a telephone pole and these wires as well. Ultimately, one of the tires went into the third floor of this home. An eyewitness capturing this cell phone video showing smoke and flames coming out of this car around 615 this morning in West Hartford. The car was on fire. The police officers that were here prior to our arrival actually got the people out of the vehicles. They were able to get the people out through the doors. The car fire was quickly put out and three people were rushed to the hospital. West Hartford fire officials say they were alive when they were pulled from the car. That is a significant risk. That's not something that we would tell anybody that's in the public to do. We're specifically trained to uh, be able to evaluate situations like this. The crash took down street signs and left behind lots of debris. With toppled power lines, Eversource cut out power to the multifamily home, and Connecticut Natural Gas had to shut down gas lines. The people living inside had to be evacuated and got out safely. The building is safe and secure at this point. Our building department has been through it, and, and they, they, they did, deemed it still habitable. Now, we did speak with the family that lives on the second floor of this home. While they didn't want to speak on camera, they tell us they heard that crash, they saw the smoke and flames, and they also saw that telephone pole coming tumbling down. They'll be able to return home tomorrow. Now, as far as how the crash happened, that is still under investigation. The accident reconstruction team is here now trying to piece together what happened. Reporting in West Hartford, Aya Channel 3 Eyewitness News.